I know you guys scrimmaged uh, with the young guys uh, last week. I was curious. I believe it was Friday. You said um, just curious how things went, and uh, there's some stuff about Cade Renfro out there. I was wondering if you could address that also. Yeah, um, you know, we um, I thought Buckner looked well. You know, really did a good job in the scrimmage. Um, offensive line played well. Um, Chase Larry picked a pass, uh, went took it back for a touchdown. I thought Coley uh, threw the ball well. Um, Eric Thomas made some plays. Um, towards the end of the scrimmage, uh, Renfro was just planted in, in a non-contact injury, but he planted and and uh, so he'll be he'll be out. He had, has an ACL, so he'll be out for uh, you know a while. But I hated it for him. Um, just planted and gave way on him, you know, and uh, so I'm very sad for him. The whole team is, but it's a part of the game that obviously we, you wish you could get rid of, but um, certainly happened. I'm sorry to hear that on Renfro. Um, are you guys transitioning now to more Penn State uh, starting today, or was that already something you already started doing? No, we had today was our first day on Penn State, and um, uh, we talked about them in the team meeting, and and then uh, uh, certainly the entire practice. We had a basically a Monday practice. Trey, what we're going to try to do is pretty much do a full, let's say September, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, without full pads. We won't go full pads, but it'll be shells. Uh, and we'll do like a full rep count of uh, September. Then come back next week and do a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday um, in what we would call, um, you know, a November type, which would cut down some reps. Uh, but this, this, this week here, we're going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just like we normally would if we were playing a game in early September minus the full pads. Thanks, Coach. Tom? Hey, Sam, with the Trey William news, um, who you expect maybe starts at end and how those reps might be divvied up? How you think the position will, will hold up there? Well, I think we'll be fine, uh, first of all. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, Jashad Stewart, um, Let's see who else would take Eric Thomas would take some of those. Um, um, I think that would be the guys that would probably take a little bit more than what they normally have. We we'll move Eric Gregory out there some, you know. Uh, we're a little we're, we have a few more inside players. You know, it depends, you know, if we play three or four down front, which we will play both. Um but I think that's probably who, right off the top of my head, would 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 uh, take the extra reps. He he had been going to bowl practice, so was this something that maybe he would have gotten a one game suspension from you, or how did how did that play out? Oh, I don't know why I'd need to answer it. I mean, he's opted out of the bowl game. I mean, I don't. He's not on the team. I mean, I. Um, we take them case by case, uh, but he's opted to go into the NFL. And I don't know what if he was, you're asking me, what if he wasn't a senior? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I probably could have used some reps from him in this game, I would have thought, you know? I don't think that was the question. No. I think okay. you asked me what I'd do if he wasn't, if, if he wasn't a senior. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. What what would you have done if he wasn't a senior? Maybe I would have suspended him for a game. I would have made him run. I would have asked him to go to get some rehab help, and uh, then we had gone on a, a game to game uh, situation after that. Okay. Hey, I'm wondering if you've heard from former players. Uh, if you could name some, maybe some former players who've reached out to you just to, in terms of how they feel about where you've got the program right now. 
You know, I really haven't, Tom. I've, 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 uh, um, not many of them. We've been so busy. Uh, I, I imagine uh, we'll get together afterwards. We had a lot of coaches here from different different schools here today, but not many formal former players. Um, but I, you know, periodically throughout the season, obviously, I've gotten some texts and things of that nature, but not. Not a whole bunch of them yet, Tom, to be honest with you. Okay. And then I, I was talking to Travis Swanson at the Burlesworth ceremony, and I asked him if he if he thought, because he, he supported you for this and everything, and he, if he thought you'd win this fast, he said, I knew he'd win the team over. And so I'm wondering, uh, I don't know, what you think about old Travis there. I love Travis Swanson. I mean, uh, not just because he was a great player here, but because he's he's an unbelievable teammate and team leader and things of that nature. It was easy to coach when Travis was on the team because all they had to do is watch him work, you know. Uh, but he was he was one of the few players that would call me and say, "Coach, I don't think you're coaching me hard enough. Uh, I want everything you have." and uh, but he's he's just a wonderful, wonderful human being and and uh, supports the program and and i'm I'm proud of what he's doing in his uh, life along with his um, what he's doing in his in his job and his career. Thanks. I don't know if you got questions. Dudley. Hey, Coach, obviously a lot of excitement about the signing, early signing class. Uh, but there's also a lot of kids around the state announcing that they're going to, you know, come here as preferred walk-ons and stuff like that. How important is that program, especially in this day and age, you know, when you're limited to 85 and, and uh, injuries can, can be such a big deal? Well, I think I think this the walk-ons is taking a new life to, it, to me um, because, you know, there's academic money, uh, that we can help them with uh, that we weren't able to before. Um, so I think, you know, you might be able to Dudley get a, um, a guy that's maybe has a one double a division two uh, scholarship that, especially if they're in state or they can have some type of in-state equivalency, equivalency, you know what I'm trying to say, equivalency, um, across the border, um, I think I think we can be a little more selective with our walk-ons right now because it's not going to cost near the amount of money or at least three to 6000 a year uh, less than what it would normally. So uh, we're, we're being a little more selective. We obviously want to go inside out. We'd love to get uh, the kids from the state of Arkansas first. And obviously, there's the not everybody's going to turn out like Grant Morgan and, and have such a great career. But he nice. always played, yeah, he always played with an edge and wanted to be a Razorback. I think there's something to that, don't you? In terms, you've always got to have talent, obviously. But oh, I, I do. Having that edge. Yeah, I do. I believe walk-on scholarship. I think I think it certainly means a lot to the kids from the state of Arkansas, and and uh, yeah, I think that's a big reason. Well, we owe it to the state first of all, to, to start in, in inside our state in recruiting, whether it be walk-on or scholarship, but we owe it to the state. Uh, but after that, uh, I think it means a lot because, you know, they've been born and raised all fans, you know. So, yeah, I think you're 100% correct. Appreciate it. Coach? Coach, you mentioned some of the defensive ends that need to step up now, Trey out, and last week you talked about the wide receivers. Uh, could this be one of those deals where uh, this is almost like an audition for, for next season? I think so. You know, I, I forgot to mention Zach Williams. I think his, I think his uh, reps will amp up as well. Uh, Trey, I think you asked that question. Um, but, you know, the rest of I, I think it's going to help us in the long run. Certainly nobody wanted uh, what happened to happen. Uh, but it did, and and uh, we 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 handled the situation as quickly as we possibly could. But I think uh, you're 100 percent right. I think um, because of whom I talked about, you know, those guys will all be back next year, and so I think it will be a nice little audition for them. And last week, you know, I asked you about the the quarterback and not bringing in someone. You said you felt really good about your depth. Oof. Does 
does does Renfro going down does that that change anything or well I I think it certainly makes you look you know I think if 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 you ended up doing that uh you'd certainly need to sit down and talk to Malik and KJ about it before you ever would do it um you know I just don't know I think one of y'all wrote a, a, or asked me about you know scholarship numbers and all those things and man I just don't know I know it's going to be fluid and I think at the end of the day you know we you know we we have an opportunity to get six more scholarships but you'd have to lose six kids to the portal and I don't know if it'll happen or not but it it seems like it's headed that direction, you know, with number wise. So if we got to a total of six, will we use it on a quarterback? Possibly. But Coley's getting a lot of reps right now as well. So I think you, you'd have to wait a little bit uh, over the next week and a half to find that out, whether you felt comfortable there or not. And he's getting a lot better. So uh, we'll just wait and see on that. And real quick, you know, Jalen Catalan coming back with his shoulder. Do you know if he's going to be ready to be able to go through spring ball or what's what's kind of the timeline for him? Well, I think he would be ready to go through spring ball. We'll certainly be um, cautious with him. And uh, probably he probably won't – we wouldn't put him in any live scrimmages or anything of that nature. We might put a green jersey on him. Uh, a little bit like we did Hayden Henry last year, you know, in spring. We – we kind of took all the hitting off of him because he was trying to get his shoulders healthy too. But I, I believe he can be out there all the time, except maybe live scrimmages. Hi. Coach, I'm ask about another uh, walk on Nathan Perotti and, and just what he's meant to, to your team. I see you starting to smile and uh, just kind of what kind of guy is he? And we, he's we awesome. I mean, he's a great, great student. Fine teammate, workaholic, doesn't doesn't complain. Um, you know, uh, I'm gonna put him on scholarship next semester, and uh, not because he came and talked to me or anything. He just he's earned it, and uh, so his last semester we'll be able to uh, pay for his schooling. But um, he certainly. Uh, has been a great Razorback, and uh, we're we're awful proud of him and what he's done. And and the, more importantly, you ask about a guy, you can tell a lot about a guy on the way his teammates look at him and the way his teammates talk talk about him. And and uh, he's one of the most popular guys on this team. Um, would you also kind of just go through your cornerbacks in depth? Corners. And Corners. Yeah, corners. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, you know, I think right now, uh, obviously, Mo Brown is 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 one of them. Uh, I'm looking over here at the board, so I don't miss any. Hudson Clark is starting for us right now. Him and Day Day uh, Bishop are back and forth there. I think Kari Johnson has has worked his way up um, in that in that two spot in there. And those are we like Chase Lowry. He's young, but uh, I think he's going to be a good player for us. Kiwan Parker, we like Kiwan. He's had a really uh, good few practices here. And, you know, we have an opportunity. Slusher's playing a little bit of corner as well. Uh, uh, Greg Brooks has played a little bit of corner as well. Uh, obviously, what we're saying is we're a little heavier at safety than we are at corner. Uh, so we're trying to find uh, a few more corners uh, or the best corners that we have, which uh, we certainly – uh, believe that we have our best ones out there right now, but uh, we're looking at a lot of those different guys out at corner as well. Thanks, Coach. Otis? Yeah, Coach, you mentioned quarterbacks. I think Andrew was asking about it. Is there a situation where Landon Rogers would go back to quarterback? Certainly as a thought. Um, uh, that would certainly um, save us number-wise, you know, especially for spring ball. Right. We don't, we don't want to slow. That's a great question. Uh, we don't want to slow Landon's potential uh, at at tight end or wide receiver. One of the two. Barry's trying to get him over on defense, but uh, <laughs> uh, we don't want to slow down his potential there. But at the same time, um, he's got a live arm, and uh, we we certainly uh, have that in the back of our mind that we could move him back. 
to quarterback for spring. But again, it would only be if we thought he could be a two or a three. Uh, otherwise, we'd feel like he can be a two or better as a tight end wide receiver. Okay, thanks, Coach. Tom? Uh, I'm not sure we ever followed up with you on Jalen St. John and his wrists. If you could update that and, and something on Ray Curry, haven't seen him some in these bowl practices. Well, St. John uh, has been hurt. Um, he was not at practice today, so I'm not positive what's going on there. I got to talk to him. Uh, Ray Curry's not going to the bowl, so um, that's probably why you haven't seen him. Uh, other than that, um, I really can't elaborate on St. John because I don't really know any more than that, Tom. I, he just didn't show up for practice today, so I got to talk to him. Bradley? You know, this time last year, I guess you were getting ready for a bowl, one that COVID ended up, you know, was stopping. But as you go into this bowl, January 1st, uh, just talk about the difference in maybe what you've got to go out and recruit with, with these eight wins and playing a New Year's Eve bowl and just how that would make 2023's recruiting, you know, easier, but still put into work. Yeah, I think I think we've got a pretty good start on 2023. Obviously, you know, in this league, you're, you know, you have – guys that finish in the top five every year in, in recruiting, you know, and, and those guys are certainly hard to beat. We want to be known as hard to beat in this region, you know, whether it be Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, uh, Texas, Louisiana. We, we, we want to be a team that, man, in Arkansas offered them, they're going to be hard to, hard to beat. And uh, with, this, with this surge of winning, uh, that certainly has helped us and I believe will help us, um, especially um, early here. We've, we've gotten a lot of uh, returns on on our text messages and people, you know, very, very interested in us. So I had a few guys say they want to come. So yeah, I think it's helped us tremendously, to be honest with you, Dudley. Coach? Yeah, Coach, I saw where uh, Coach Carter said on Twitter the other day that, you know, Monteric Brown's one of the top DBs in the 2022 draft. Uh, has has Monteric decided that, that he's going to leave after this year? Has, has he made a decision on that? No, it, well, not not to me, he hasn't. Uh, but, I, you know, right now, I don't know what he's going to do. I, he hadn't come talk to me, but uh, I'm a, right now, I, I would say he's probably not going to come back, but. I haven't had that conversation with him yet. Have any of the other guys, I know Wagner's coming back, but have any other guys made decisions? And is there like a timeline on when you'd like to have like a final decision from those guys? No, you know, um, unless somebody wants to talk to me about it, you know, and tell me exactly what they're thinking, you know, we still have a game to play, you know. So a lot of time, most of the time you do that uh, after the bowl, uh, some guys will – come in and say, do you know what my draft status is? And if they want to, at that point, you know, they're trying to figure it out. And I've talked to, uh, I, I believe all of them about that. And uh, uh, so, and some have said they, you know, they're going to think about it. And some said, basically, they're, they're going to, they're leaving. And some said they don't know yet. So, uh, we'll have a lot of conversation after the bowl game with the with the seniors and the super seniors. And then the last thing I have, I know at one point you said there's maybe some talk for some of these early signees being able to come into bowl practices. Is that is that something that's going to be able to happen? Yeah, uh, we actually had J.J. Hollingsworth here today and Caden Henley here today. It was awesome to see them looking around lost, you know. Uh, they they You know, I walked up to them a couple times. I said, hey. You see all these guys around here, they were lost too. Just kind of fit in where you get in. And they both of them played the scout team today and and uh, went through individual. But uh, it was great to have them here. And it's, you know, it's fun to watch those guys. <laughs> they have no clue what's going on. But they're so excited to be in Arkansas gear, you know. So, yeah, they were both here today. Appreciate it. Right. Uh, yeah, Coach, you, you mentioned uh, Ray Curry not going to the bowl game. I think that's what you said. Is is he returning with the team? From what I understand, he'll be back uh, 
next in in the spring yeah okay is there a reason he's not traveling not that i want to talk about okay um I asked you what the team's plans were for Christmas and stuff, but I don't think I asked you what your plans are. What what do you and Jamie got going on? And you have a Christmas wish list, football related, non football related. Yeah, to win the Outback Bowl would be my Christmas wish. But uh, now uh, the kids are off around noon. We will be off around one or two on on uh, Thursday, and uh, I've got some shop. I haven't done a lot, you know, so I got to sneak out. Uh, before I go home, I'll just grab something. I'm I'm behind, um, and then uh, we're gonna go to Pittsburgh, Kansas, to Jamie's home Thursday. Come back uh, after breakfast on Christmas Day, and then uh, uh, start packing. You know, because we live the next day. Start packing for for the Outback Bowl, and and uh, now I I pretty much have all the things I want in life, and and been very very fortunate. So I. I don't need much, but I would like to have an Outback Bowl win. And other than that, uh, everything's going pretty good, buddy. Yeah. Plenty of food to eat. All right. <laughs> Last one, Clay. Well, I was going to ask what you wanted for Christmas, but uh, Trey, Trey beat me to it. Has there been a Christmas present, so to speak, delivered by a player that has just kind of jumped out and said, man, that's a nice Christmas present, seeing that guy. Um, man, you guys are asking some good questions deep, today. Deep thought. Um, no, I, I tell you what, I, I'm seeing Taki Crawford out there. I think he's going to be a really good player for us. And, and, and he's kind of a guy that's behind the scenes, but I, I think he's going to be a really good player for us. So that's, that could be kind of a, of a present. I think Aaron Thomas is coming along. I think he could be kind of a present. So, and right now I'm not, I haven't, I'm not losing any of our coaches and that's a present. I don't, I don't want to, uh, I want them all to stay here. And you know, obviously people are coming after our coaches. We had success, but uh, my Christmas wish list to be keep who we have intact. And hopefully we can do that. And I'm talking about support staff, recruiting staff as part of that and and uh, certainly assistant coaches. Bet online has you covered for all the holiday season. More props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet online remains your number one spot for all sports action. Head to our new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus with the promo code BELIEVE to receive your bonus. That's B-L-E-A-V to receive your bonus. And it's not just football. Bet online has pro and college hoops, NHL, boxing, UFC, even in your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all these amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports.